what up everybody doing back and today uh is the day of the season finale so get ready um but in this video we are going to be talking about who is going to be getting the bat so i actually just picked this up at um walker stalker con pretty cool um so me and the rest of the world have narrowed it down to two characters who are going to be the most likely to die. Those characters are Glenn and Daryl. Now, I'm going to start off by saying why Glenn might die just because there's more things that would suggest his death out of Dar than Daryl's. So, I'm going to start with Glenn, then do Daryl, then I'll talk about why they won't die, um, just to kind of give both sides of the argument. So, now I'm going to put Lucille down um, and get into it. Alright, so, Glenn. His death has been foreshadowed since way back in Season 4. Uh, the very first time we ever got any sort of foreshadowing for Glenn's death was around the time after the prison attack back in Season 4. Um, it was the point when you didn't know if Glenn was dead or alive, you didn't know if he was on the bus or not, and there's a scene when Daryl and Beth walk past a whole bunch of pile of dead bodies, and in that pile is a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. So, that was the very first time we ever got any sort of hint at Lucille. Um, from there, there is the obvious uh, terminus situation, when uh, he almost got cracked over the head and was saved by Carol at the very last minute. Um... Um, from that, so he almost died there from a baseball bat. That would have foreshadowed his death. Later on in Season 5, he picked up a baseball bat, um, which could also foreshadow it. Um, now, getting into Season 6, things that would foreshadow Glenn's death are uh, just the fact that after he killed those saviors, in the bedroom when they were all sleeping in the compound or whatever he looked up and saw these uh, pictures of heads on the wall um, the heads were all bashed in um, possibly foreshadowing him seeing the way he's gonna die um, and then the most recent episode uh, which was The Walking Dead season 6 episode 15 East Glenn looks at uh, Maggie in the shower and Maggie seems to touch his head a whole lot and then that scene when Glenn's driving away to go after Daryl, and in the rearview mirror you see Maggie being left behind, could also be showing that he might die. Now, there are other reasons why Glenn will die. Um, I guess Glenn is the cat of The Walking Dead. And you know how there's the saying, cats have nine lives. Well, Glenn's pretty much used up all of his nine lives. Let's go through it. He nearly died in Vitos, Season 1 episode. He was nearly shoved off a roof. Um, go to Season 2, The Well. Uh, he nearly died in The Well. Season 3, uh, he was interrogated and beat nearly killed by Merle. Season 4, he had the flu nearly died. Season 5, he was nearly killed by the Terminus people when they nearly cracked him over the head with the bat. He was nearly killed by Nicholas. Um, I haven't been keeping track. I should probably do that. Alright. <laughs> season 1, 2, and 3 only had 1. Season 4 had 1. Season 5 had... Uh... 1, did I say? Season 5, he was nearly killed by Nicholas. Season 6, alright, so now we're at 6 lives used. Season 6, uh, he was nearly killed by Nicholas again when Nicholas shot himself and he crawled under the dumpster. He was nearly killed when he was pinned against the wall and Abraham and Sasha had to rescue him. Um, what else? He's been kidnapped now. And that's eight lives. So, going off this theory that Glenn is the cat of The Walking Dead, he's not going to be making it out of this next, this next one. So, if the eeny meeny miny mo game lands on Glenn... He's dead. I really don't want that. Glenn's my favorite character, so. Um, now on to why Daryl might die. Daryl, uh, he is kind of 
Glenn at the time in the comic book series, when he died, was issue 100. Oh, that's the other thing. Glenn dies in the comic book series, and that's an iconic moment that they might want to not um, stray away from. So, anyways, Daryl might die because he is kind of like Glenn from the comic series. In the comic series, uh, Glenn was the most liked character at the time. There was a poll, and he came out number one, and he was killed in issue 100 shortly afterward. So Daryl is the probably the most loved character of the Walking Dead series. He's not my favorite. He's maybe not even my top five, but he's most of the world's favorite. Um, so, the other reasons, Daryl's killed more saviors than anyone I can think of. Um, Dwight and Daryl have this thing going on where they hate each other. If Dwight turns Daryl over to Negan and says, kill this guy, he, he's been trouble, then Daryl's screwed. Um, so other things that could lead to Daryl, um... It'd be a huge impact, it'd be a shocking moment, um, pretty much most average viewers wouldn't see it coming, so it would have the wow factor, and if you guys are looking at me, I'm just staring at the bat, sorry, I should put it down and stop pay paying attention to it, it's just really cool, <laughs> so, um, it'd be shocking, it would, viewers, most viewers would not see it coming, that's the thing, um, so, that's pretty much the only reasons I could think that Daryl would die, is just, he did kill way more saviors than anyone else, and Dwight knows that he's killed a lot. Um, so reasons why Glenn won't die. Uh, the biggest reason Glenn won't die is because it's too obvious. Everyone knows Glenn dies in the comics. Even if you don't read the comics, you still know Glenn dies in the comics at this part. It is a fact. It's all over the internet, it's all over everywhere. So, you know... The, and besides, the impact of it would not be anything. Personally, I wouldn't feel hardly... I would feel sad that Glenn died, but it, it's nothing now because they already did this whole fake-out death with Nicholas, which took away all of the emotional impact you could have when he dies. So they kind of screwed themselves there. Um, from there, uh, Glenn... You know, he's kind of screwed, <laughs> to be honest. Um, he doesn't have as much going for him to stay alive as Daryl does. And another reason Glenn might die is because he did kill. In the comic book series, Glenn never killed. In the show, he did kill. He kind of signed off his fate. Now, Daryl won't die because... Um, he's, he's the fan favorite. He brings in all of the attention. He has all the fangirls, all of that stuff. He is the most popular person on The Walking Dead, and he brings up the ratings a lot. He does a lot to advertise The Walking Dead. So, by killing Daryl, they're losing the, probably their biggest advertiser slash most well-known actor, and I don't think they want to do that. Um, Norman Reedus also has said he is friends with <laughs> the uh, producers and writers. Um, I'm sure Steven Yeun is too, but uh, I don't know. Norman Reedus also, um, you know, another reason he, he probably won't die is because he said he's coming back for season 7. I have a theory on why, and I'm going to explain that right now. So, Norman Reedus says he's coming back for season 7, yet at the same time, most people are saying it's going to be a cliffhanger ending. You're not going to see who dies, meaning there is open room for next season to open with him getting beaten in. We finally see it. So, maybe he's only in the first episode. I don't think it's going to be a cliffhanger death. I think that would be too hard to keep secret who, who's dead, but if it is, that's how Norman Reedus could come back. Or they could just see his body next season. Maybe he could just get buried. So, who knows? Um, I personally hope it's Daryl who dies because Glenn's my favorite, like I've said. Um, Norman Reedus, you know, he's just got all the fans. He's just got all the attention. Everyone loves him, so I really think it'd be hard for them to kill him and do it right. Um... That's really all I have to say, other than Negan's appearance should be awesome. Um, it's going to be pretty much, probably could be the coolest thing of the season. This could make the season the best season so far. I like season three best so far, but this season definitely 
I'm going to say if this episode is a 10 out of 10 or even a 9 out of 10, that probably puts it up there as the best season ever. Um, and it's going to be great to see Negan on screen. So anyways, thank you all for watching. And I just forgot something right now. I just thought of it. Another reason why Daryl will die. Um, not that he will, but why I think he will. Why wouldn't Negan kill him? In the comic book series, Negan only does eeny, meeny, miny, mo because he can't decide who to kill. He doesn't want to kill Glenn because he doesn't want to be a racist and all this stuff. When he gets to Daryl, what is there to say, no, I'm not going to kill you? Unless Daryl's just not there, unless Dwight kept him for himself, then I'm going to be able to I'm gonna say with full confidence, Daryl's dead. But at the same time, Daryl's close to death. He just got shot, so that kind of makes him immune. But I really don't know. I don't know who's going to die. I'll find out tonight, hopefully. So... See you all then. I'm T-Man. T-Man.